Now this is not the original church. Um, there is a beam in this church that uh, has, there's a false ceiling so you can't see it, but there's a beam that has the date 1888. And people would, would guess that um, the church was the second church built in 1888 to replace a smaller first church that was right here, built soon after the village was um, founded. Um, the first church um, was definitely a fort. And outside the, the door of the church was a drum. And if there were danger, a villager would come and beat on the drum. And there's one precious example of what happened with the drum. Um, a guy named Fernando Quintana, and the name Quintana is a major name in this village, lots of family member Quintanas. A guy named Fernando Quintana had taken his ox down to the river to water it. Now, I don't know where he went, but let's presume, you know, that he went down through this Zaguan, you know, through this gate and down to the river. And he got diverted down there with his ox, so he left his ox and he went over to do something. And when he came back to his ox, his ox was gone. And then he discovered that the footprints of the ox had footprints next to it. So he came back to the village and he beat on the drum and the villagers rushed to his aid. And they all rushed to where the ox had been and they followed the tracks and they went to a place where the mesa was accessible, where they could scale the bluff. And they scaled the bluff, and when they got to the top of the bluff, they found the bones of the ox. And what had happened was a couple Indians, maybe Apache, had taken the ox, led it away. They wanted the meat. They didn't want the animal. So they butchered it at the top of the mesa, and they packed up their meat and they were off. And um, there are examples, or there are stories rather, about how people had windows that were left open and they'd made tortillas, and uh, all of a sudden a sharp pointed stick had come in and get a tortilla off this rack that was hanging to dry or something. Now these Native Americans were not coming in to kill anybody, they were just hungry. They wanted food. And they knew that a little village like this, a Spanish village, this was Spanish, not Indian, you know, would have food. So it was kind of a dangerous area. The thing was created as a fortified plaza, as were other villages up and down the Pecos. And they had in the middle of their plaza because of the constrictions of sight. Because, you know, this is a very compact village that we're standing in. Most Spanish villages are strung out along an irrigation ditch. Um, when they were founded without the dangers of, of uh, nomadic Indians. So um, anyway, this thing was um, founded that way. Now we're going to go in the church and I have the key and I'm going to have to return it after we go in and we'll say a few words about the church. But let me point out that this was the original cemetery that started in 1776 when they were given permission. They buried all of the cemetery and they actually buried people adentro de la cap capilla, inside the chapel. The prominent villagers would be buried under the floor. This was later outlawed. So people that were prominent after 1776 were buried adentro de la capilla, as was true of other churches in New Mexico. But they eventually filled the entire area up and that happened in about 1932. So in 1933 the Aragon family gave a, an acre up on the mesa and that's where the new cemetery is today. And this is typical. This happened in village after village in New Mexico. That they filled up this churchyard and had to get a new site up on, an, uh, you know, on the outskirts of town, on the mesa. We are basically facing north. The church door faces south. If you know about Catholic churches, they usually are oriented east-west. Reason, so that you can face the Holy Land when you're praying. Graves are usually oriented east-west for same reason. Your feet are in the east and your head's in the west, so you can be looking east. 
and why they didn't orient this east-west, I don't know. Uh, if you go to Las Vegas, the church in Las Vegas, which is the county seat for this county, is oriented, the church is oriented east, uh, east-west, not north-south. If you go to Santa Fe, it's east-west. This is something that geographers are supposed to be tuned into, you know, the orientation of a plaza, of a church within the plaza, of the graves within the churchyard. And it's a curious thing, and I don't know the explanation why this is north-south.